All right, everyone, two words for you. Bluegill ceviche. That's what we're doing today. We're doing a catch and cook with bluegill, and we're gonna do it two ways, but the main highlight's gonna be ceviche. The other way we're gonna do it is just fry the rest of them up. If you don't know about ceviche, guys, <laughs> we're using raw meat, and we're cooking it with lime juice, okay? Mixing that with multiple other vegetables, and it makes a really great, almost like a salsa, if you would. We're gonna be putting that on tostadas. We might actually buy real tostadas, or we might just get street taco size. Fry them up at the house. Yeah, fry them up at the house, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get after it today. We're at one of our favorite bluegill lakes. There's trout in here too, and largemouth bass, rainbow trout that is. And we're probably gonna run into a couple of those for collateral, but we'll see. But the mission today overall is big bluegills. So stay tuned guys, hope we can get into them. Gonna be a little bit of a mixture of stuff today. We'll be doing some dry fly fishing, but probably expect a lot of 1 16th ounce ball head stuff and net rig stuff too today. All right, you guys got an ultra tiny one here. Well, at least the skunk's out. Got it. Oh. Just barely lippable, but definitely not keepable. So tossing that guy back. Go and grow, buddy. First fish, got the hopper dropper set up. I got a what is this? We got a Drake up here, and I have a Corona mid in the bottom. That's what the bluegill took. This little guy. Peace, bud. I'm gonna start off with a micro minnow instead of the fly. I'm using the pink and black color, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, got one. Oh no, he popped off. Oh, I think he came back. Oh, I think it's a rainbow. Yeah, it's a rainbow. Really, really thin guy. We're gonna throw him back. He's not enough to eat anyway. There he goes. Well, at least I'm not skunked. All right, guys, so we're about to roll over the other side. Me and Remy, Sam, all been catching some fish, but everything's been really tiny. We're gonna switch over there. I'm actually gonna start switching to probably throwing some Ned raking stuff to start. Let's see what goes from there. All right, you guys, busting out the seven foot ultralight. It's my panfish pole. It's the only thing I use this for is pan fishing. Got one. Trout. So guys, I got two pound trilene on here, so I can't really wrench a whole lot. Jeez, that was a big bass that came out. Decent size, this is a decent sized trout, dude. Oh yeah, Jeez. my goodness. Hello. Yeah, he's fighting too. Here, I'm gonna come over on your side. Okay. I can just hop over. Jeez. Was not expecting to get a good sized trout today, guys. That's a big one, babes. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're just going for panfish today, guys. We didn't even bring our nuts. Micro minnow? I just gotta let this guy wear out a little bit now. Nose hooked him. All right, guys, so, wasn't expecting this today on the catch and cook, but it's solid 19 inch, about 18, 19 inch rainbow trout. Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, let's get that. Oh, there he goes. I see him swimming. Yeah. Whew. Awesome. There we go. Oh, it's a trout. Now I'm catching all the trout, guys. Oh, he's off, he's off. Nice. All right, guys, new spot. Deeper water, it's our go-to spot. I'm gonna come over here. Come on, hit it. Yep, on. Moon cake. Getting bigger over here, guys. Getting big. Well guys, I'm getting hits. I'm trying on a one of those custom flies from Opportunity Fishing here. There we go. We're catching guys, but unfortunately we're getting a lot of small ones. Little guy guys. That's off this little custom guy I've been getting mad hits on, guys. Aaron's the first time, I know I've had these for a bit, so the first time I'm actually getting to use these. I like it so far. There we go. Better. All right, guys, a little bit too tiny to eat. 
maybe about one more inch and I could have kept them, but. That one, guys. Decent bluegill. He's a keeper. Woo! First keeper. Nice, guys. I saw him swimming on the top of the water. Dropped it right in front of him. Yeah, decent. All right, guys, I hope I have a gill. Oh, it's a good gill. About time. Good out, T. Woo! Get this big daddy out. That's what he came here for. That's a big boy. Another good gill, guys. Yeah, look at that guy. Bam! A little football. You gotta love these gills, man. Colors are awesome. I think I have a bass on. I got another keeper. Nice, Sam just got a keeper gill. And I got two pound trilee on the seven foot ultralight, guys. Got a fairy wand on here. That's a good size large mouth. Well, guys, I'm supposed to be catching big bluegills and I'm catching largemouth and trout and a lot of small bluegills. <clears throat> see if I can land this largey here. It's not a bad one. Biggest largey out of here for sure we've ever caught. Yeah, probably about a two, two and a half. Solid. Look at that, guys. Gary Yamamoto, Ned. Got him right through the nose. All right, guys. Saw a little, saw a little largey. Happy about that. Now I was trying to try to get some bigger gills. There you go, buddy. Good sized trout again. Well guys, I'm catching good sized trout. It's not the mission today, but long skinny guy. That hook is halfway down his throat, so I'm we're probably just gonna wind up keeping this guy too. Probably throw him in the smoker or something. Probably won't make this that part of the episode or anything, but yeah, this guy's that thing is gutted. Dude, I, was ba I wasn't dead in it either. I was bouncing that thing the whole way. He just inhaled it. So guys, I've been trying to get a big bluegill today. Got some good sized trout, got a good sized bass. Haven't got the big bluegill. Decided to walk off just for a second to look around the lake. Let Remy use my pole. Oh, got a Mondo. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not my day to catch the big bluegills, but I'm glad that Remy got some. Mission complete though. Definitely mission complete. Pull up that stringer. I'm going to show the people at home what we got. We got a good size thing of gills here. I think the smallest gill on there. Right. We have that we have that one that I kept that's a stretch. It's about almost seven inches, but everything else on there is about nine inches, guys. Right. Fatties. Mac daddies. Mac and, and then, of course, that big trout. So, you guys, we're just getting the stringer ready, getting packed up, then we're going to get out of here. We'll see you guys at the grocery store. Be right back. All right, guys, we're at the grocery store. Getting the ingredients for the ceviche. So we got some garlic, getting some Roma tomatoes. In case you guys are unaware, here in Colorado, we got the mask law going, so mandatory. Getting some avocados. What else are we getting, Rem? Onion. Onion, cilantro. Cilantro, cucumber. cucumber. I think that's about it, right? Nothing crazy, guys. And then, oh, we need to get limes, too. Yeah. All right. Sam's bad guy, she had to get some oil and got some seasoning stuff for the fish fry. Another good thing about this recipe is how cheap it is. That was all the vegetables right there, $7.65. That's about you put in the card in. All right, so we just put in the uh, card and we saved one cent. <laughs> all right, $7.64, that's what this cost to make, guys. I don't know, I was probably touching something. All right, now we'll see you guys back at the house. All right, you guys, back here at the house. 
These gills, guys. These things are massive. Look at these things. Just my abs. So we got more over in the sink, of course. Me and Remy just got done sharpening up our fillet knives. We got some vegetables here. We're gonna be chopping them up. We'll do a little. We'll do a little cooking montage. All right. So let's get started with that, and then we'll be doing a little taste test for you. Okay, everybody, we're done cooking, done cutting up all the vegetables, done marinating these fish in that lime juice. Got this beautiful presentation here that you probably saw from the thumbnail. So we're probably gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a, one of these each and we're gonna try that out. And then we're also gonna try the fried fish, of course. Slap one of these cottos on that, baby. You want a cotto on it? Yeah. All right, all right guys. guys, let's try this out here. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Supposed to be messy. Mmm. So good though. I'll load it a little bit extra up on here because of the thumbnail. But, guys, if you've never had ceviche before, it's delicious. I've never had bluegill ceviche before in my life, but I have to say, this is on point. Oh, yeah, this is delicious. Really good. None of us have had bluegill ceviche before. Um, we've had fish, other fish ceviche before. We've had shrimp ceviche. Mm -hmm. But, like yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah. This goes hard. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Delicious. It's so good. Again, you guys, that's the meat in there, marinated with the lime juice. We soaked that in there for, <clears throat> about in the fridge minutes. for about, yeah, 30 minutes. Gotta make sure that meat turns pretty white. Make sure that's cooked through, sample it a little bit, of course, too. Now, we know that the taco with the vegetables and all that lime juice and everything's great. Let's just try it with the meat. Let's just try the meat. Cheers. Sorry. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Mm. Not too firm. That's a good thing about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bite right through it. Hot knife through butter. Yep. And then, of course, the final thing we have to taste test, guys, is the fried fish. Fried fish. But I can already bet that this is going to be delicious. You you've, you've seen this before, guys. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So, guys, if you want the exact recipe of what we're doing, we'll leave that in the description. Um, if you have any other questions, of course, comment below and we'll be happy to answer them. But I hope you enjoyed the video. A little bit of a switch up. Not every day you do a bluegill ceviche. So I can almost guarantee, though, we'll be doing this again soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So good. So good. <clears throat> hit the like button, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And, of course, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from us. Oh, that good stuff. We're going to get back to eating all this food, guys. So see you later. Right. <laughs> Bye.